Have you ever wondered what would happen if a king, a leader of a nation, were to lose his mind? This was the reality for King George III of Britain. His reign saw the onset of an unsettling madness, an affliction that would cast a dark shadow over his leadership and the fate of his kingdom. Early signs of the king's deteriorating mental state were alarming. George III's erratic behavior and severe mood swings became a cause for concern among his advisors and the public alike. His once rational and composed demeanor was replaced by bouts of unpredictability and irrationality. Theories abound as to the cause of his madness. Some say it was the result of a genetic disorder known as porphyria, a condition that can cause mental confusion and hallucinations. Others suggest it was simply the immense pressure of ruling a nation. The king's deteriorating mental health began to deeply disrupt the governance of his kingdom and had far-reaching consequences. As the madness of King George III worsened, it began to play a significant role in the Revolutionary War. The king's erratic decisions and inability to lead effectively were like a chink in the armor of the mighty British Empire, a weakness that the American colonies did not hesitate to exploit. King George's reign was marked by a series of missteps, but none more so than his handling of the Revolutionary War. His insistence on harsh, punitive measures against the rebellious colonies despite advice to the contrary only served to fan the flames of rebellion. The introduction of the Intolerable Acts, a direct response to the Boston Tea Party, was one such instance of his erratic decision-making. Instead of quelling the rebellion, these acts only managed to unite the colonies further against British rule. The King's madness also led to a lack of consistent leadership. His periods of insanity meant that he was often absent from the helm, leaving a power vacuum that was not adequately filled. This lack of strong leadership was a significant factor in Britain's inability to effectively manage the war effort. Now let's talk about a pivotal event directly influenced by the King's madness, the loss of the American colonies. King George's irrational insistence on continuing the war, even when it was clear that the tide had turned in favor of the Americans, was a testament to his madness. His stubborn refusal to accept defeat led to the prolongation of the war and the eventual loss of the American colonies. In essence, King George's madness served as a catalyst for the American victory. His erratic decisions and inconsistent leadership undermined Britain's efforts in the war, allowing the American colonies to seize the opportunity and fight for their independence. The Revolutionary War was a turning point in history, and the madness of King George III played a crucial role in shaping its outcome. Despite his madness, King George III reigned for many years until his death in 1820. The final years of his life were a shadowy existence marked by increasing isolation and a steady decline in health. His madness, once a sporadic visitor, became a permanent guest, obliterating the remnants of his lucidity. His son, the future King George IV, assumed the regency, effectively ruling in his stead. King George III's death came as a quiet end to a tumultuous reign. The public reaction was a mix of relief and respect for a man who had been their king for six decades. They mourned the passing of a monarch, but also the loss of a man who had been so visibly tormented. His death was a poignant reminder of the fragility of the human mind, even in those born to rule. King George III's death marked the end of an era, a reign defined by madness and marked by significant historical events. King George III's madness has left an indelible mark on history, his reign, punctuated by bouts of insanity, was a tumultuous period that left Britain and the world forever changed. The onset of his madness, believed by many to be a result of the metabolic disorder, porphyria, added an unpredictable element to his rule and the politics of the time. This unpredictability, in turn, had a significant effect on the Revolutionary War. Amidst his erratic behavior, the war was lost, leading to the birth of a new nation, the United States of America. His death, however, was not the end of his story. The legacy of his reign, marked by his madness, has become a fascinating topic for historians and enthusiasts alike. His life serves as a cautionary tale of unchecked power in the hands of someone battling mental health issues. The madness of King George III, a story of power, insanity, and a nation's struggle, continues to captivate us even today. Please like and subscribe to the channel.